So I'm continuing with my huge mega haul. Um, the first video, I thought I was going to be able to get everything in, but that only covered Ulta. So this is going to cover Walgreens, Sephora, and Claire's. And from Walgreens, I picked up these Andrea Mod Lash. And they don't look too scary. Like, it looks like something I could be okay with wearing. Um, I have not tried those yet. We'll see. I got the Soho London sponge that's supposed to be a dupe for the Beauty Blender. But they changed it. And now it looks like a football, not like the Beauty Blender. But we'll see. Uh, oh well. The next thing I got was the Kiss nail dress um, in the, the flower. It's like a black and silver sparkly flower thing. And these are like the little polish strip things that you put on your fingers and they're supposed to last and last and last. And these are also textured. Almost like rhinestones. I also picked up the Body Fantasies, the Cotton Candy Fantasy. It was 99 cents. It's the teeny tiny one. I thought it would be really good to keep in my purse just for touch-ups after the gym till I get home kind of thing. I also found this Milani um, Hot Pink Super Super Sparkly Nail Polish. Um, and that's the name of it. It's Hot Pink. It has um, some holographic glitter and the rest of it is Hot Pink Glitter. And then I got the Sally Hansen Gem Crush. And this one is Pink and Lavender Lilac. And it is number 5 Bejeweled. I think it'll be a really pretty glitter polish for the spring and the summer. And the next one is also a gem crush, and it was Glitz Gal. And it is like a charcoal asphalt color with that same color of glitter, and then some holographic bigger chunks of the big glitter in it, too. And that's everything from Walgreens. And then I went to Claire's. And at Claire's, I found this wonderful glitter polish right here. Um, it is blue and like a magenta pinky purple color. It's called Mystical. And it is one of my favorite glitter polishes, I think, ever. And next I got this one that is supposed to be a dupe for another Deborah Littman polish. And this one is called Candy Shop. And it is like a pinky polish with a ton of multicolored itty bitty glitter all the way up to the bigger chunks of glitter. And the third one from Claire's is a really dark polish. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera. But it goes iridescent from like a black to like a deep purple to a green to a blue. Um, and this is on clearance. It was only $2.25 and then it was like something off that so it was maybe a dollar. And the color on this one is Evil Queen. I also got this super cute lip gloss. It is strawberries and candy. And it's a cute little cupcake with lip gloss in it. I've had a couple of these before. And they smell like the lip gloss that I had when I was a really small kid. And it's kind of, I don't know, brings me back to childhood, I guess. And I got these earrings. They're just plain hoops. They were... $3.50 on sale and I think maybe it was like a 10 for 10 thing that they have at Claire's when I got the two glitter polishes and these and this mirror. Same thing on it. thought it would be really cute just to keep in my purse. And then this is one of my favorite things. I love cupcakes as you can see the cupcake sheets. Well this matches the cupcake sheets and it's a little packet that holds like nail things. It has tweezers, it has nail clippers, files, nail scissors, and then like the little orange stick thingies or whatever they are. And I thought that this was super cute to keep in my purse and I absolutely love the pink and the sparkly little cherry and but it's a cupcake. The next thing I got were these little teeny tiny mittens that were part of the, the 10 for 10 too. Um, I have really, really small hands so I always buy my gloves in the kids section so they actually fit. And it's the fingerless gloves with the little mitten part that flops back over. And I can't wait till winter so I can can wear those. And the next thing I got is kind of funny. Um, besides cupcakes, the other thing I love is bunnies. And I found this little bunny mask for at night. And I think it is just the cutest thing ever. And then I got Mr. Raccoon. 
He is a raccoon toboggan, and he is just the cutest thing ever, and will be absolutely adorable, and I, I love him, and his little blue eyes. On his back is also a little fluffy raccoon tail. And then next, we're moving on to, let's scoot all this out of the way, to Sephora. This was part of the clearance stuff that they had. And this is marshmallows for toasting. It is one of my favorite philosophy scents ever. And this set, there was also a set that was like $5. And this one was $16, I think. But it has like the small bottle of the marshmallows for toasting, the um, body wash shampoo, three-in-one stuff. The Marshmallow Fluff Body Lotion, and also a full-size lip gloss that is marshmallows for toasting as well. Um, and I think it's a really great deal on clearance. I probably wouldn't have, well, I didn't buy it when it was full price. But usually the lip glosses are, are almost as much as what I paid for the full set. And it came in this cute little box. And... And that's the box. And it's so cute. Next I got the Too Faced Natural at Night eye palette. Um, these colors are dark, but they're pretty sparkly. And I love that they're neutral. And that, to me, they're a lot different from most of the stuff in my Naked palettes. Um, so I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one. And I'm glad that they came out with something that wasn't almost identical to what I have in other palettes. The next thing I got was a gift with purchase from Ulta, and it was the Buxom Big and Healthy Lip Balm, and the color of it is Waikiki, and inside the packaging looks exactly like the Too Faced packaging for their Meteorite or whatever eyeshadows. The packaging is identical. Silver, round, same kind of thing. Um... The color is okay. Haven't used it. Looks pretty neutral. Um, I look forward to trying it though. And I hope I really like that lip balm. The other thing I got was the Urban Decay 24 7 pencil stash. And it comes with like three neutrals a purple and a blue. Um, I'm hoping that these are better than the NYX Jumbo Pencils. A lot of people compare them, but I love the NYX Pencils, especially for an eyeshadow base, so we'll see how I like the Urban Decay ones. I love my Urban, Urban Decay liners, uh, but I have never tried the other Jumbo Pencils. For Valentine's Day, Stila usually releases a really cute blush, and this year it's a lot more sparkly than it was last year. Um, the color is also a lot paler. There's not a lot of color payoff, but there's a lot of glitter. Um, it's okay, but it's one of my least favorite steel of blushes that I've tried. Um, I also got two Urban Decay shadows. I got a backup of Naked um, because it's in my Naked palette, but I use this shadow just about every day, and I love it. And then I also got Asphyxia. And I was really surprised that I didn't have Asphyxia before now. Um, because it's a duochrome and I love duochromes. And the color is like... A, it's a lot more lavender than Stars and Rockets. And there's the color. It's really shimmery and it has kind of like a... Maybe a bluish duochrome to it. And I also got this Jumbo Mega Hello Kitty comb. I already have the um, the Hello Kitty mirror that matches it. And that was on clearance for $7. And I love it. The other thing I got was a VIB gift with purchase from NARS. And it came with the eyeshadow primer. the multiple in orgasm and also a 
teeny teeny tiny baby Laguna bronzer. And it is super, I mean, insanely small. I will show you how small. Okay. Here it is. And it is. Okay, this is the Stila blush. This is the Laguna bronzer. Super teeny. Teeny. <clears throat> teeny tiny. And that is it for that haul. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you later.